Outlander Season 3, Episode 8 Recap, Claire Meets the Second Wife, Titled First Wife, We All Knew Outlander Season 3, Episode 8 was going to be exciting. It was the chance for Claire to learn there was a second wife. We'd already learned Jamie was married. Those who hadn't read Voyager before watching Outlander Season 3 found out at the very end of Creme de Mott. Jamie had kept it from Claire hoping that Ned Gowan would be able to help before it came up and Claire would have to find out. Well, it didn't work, thanks to Jenny. For those who want to read my after the episode recap from Hidden Remote, you can hear. This takes into account all the initial thoughts and feelings, along with the best moments piece that I did as a follow-up. Now I'm writing about Outlander Season 3. Episode 8 from the view of rewatching a few times. Claire and Jamie return to Lollybrook. It all starts with a very cold reunion at Lollybrook. Jenny clearly isn't happy that Claire has just shown up out of the blue and it's not that surprising. As Jenny later puts it, Claire wouldn't have just left them believing that she was dead. She would have at least written if she was really in the colonies, so why didn't she? Looking at it from Jenny's point of view. Claire just abandoned the whole family at a time that they needed her. She knew things that nobody could explain but turned out to be true. And Claire had medical knowledge that would have helped the whole family and the tenants. Of course, there would have been danger but Jenny was just angry that Claire hadn't even reached out. Claire can't tell her the whole truth and Jenny knows that. Jenny isn't a stupid woman. Because she isn't getting the full truth. She can't trust Claire and don't really want to let Claire back into her heart. The shock of the marriage. The cold reunion doesn't last long in Outlander Season 3, Episode 8. Just as it looks like Jamie and Claire are attempting to move forward, a little red-headed girl runs into the room and shouts Daddy. It's understandably a shock and Claire wonders whether this girl, Joni, is Jamie's daughter. She doesn't have time to think too much, as Larry storms into the room, drops the C-bomb, and is then pulled out. Jamie has a lot of explaining to do and Claire isn't too certain she should be there. Claire can't understand how Jamie would marry Larry knowing what Larry did in Outlander Season 1. Jamie is shot. Larry doesn't stick around to argue for long. She decides to grab a pistol and goes to shoot Claire. However, Jamie gets in the way and is shot in the arm. With Jamie injured, Claire sticks around and uses her medical knowledge to save him. This includes the penicillin that she brought back with her to get rid of the infection. Jamie finally gets the chance to explain. He married Leary for her daughters. Joni and Marsley brought happiness back into his life. While some may not have accepted this storyline after everything Leary did, the idea of him being with someone for the sake of her daughters makes sense. He's always been honorable and he's always wanted a family of his own. Clearly. These two children have looked up to him Marsley still looks up to him as a now married woman by the end of Outlander Season 3. The marriage wasn't a happy one and Jamie has been apart from Larry for a long time. Ned Gowan also has news that the marriage isn't valid, since Claire is still alive. Larry wants compensation, although Ned suggests that Jamie turns her in to the authorities for having the pistol. Jamie won't do that to the girls again his honorable side coming out even though it's not practical but he does say he can get the money she needs. There are gems and other valuables on Silky's Island. Of course, he can't swim out there, so young Ian offers to go instead. It's off to Jamaica. Young Ian does go out, giving Claire and Jamie more time to talk. Claire is thinking about returning back to the future, clearly deciding that she doesn't belong here or in Jamie's life anymore. Before they can talk properly about it, there's a ship near the island. Claire and Jamie just watch as young Ian is taken by pirates. The Frasers can only watch, planning what to do next. We know it's off to Jamaica. As a show first fan, I found the episode enjoyable. I understood Jamie's reasoning. Even now after reading Voyager, I've found his reasonings reasonable and understandable. Jamie is a good man and he thought he was doing the right thing for two girls in a time when women had to rely on men. And as for Claire. Her thoughts about leaving were also understandable. While she went back knowing that Jamie could have married again, she never thought he would marry Leary. Nor did she think she'd feel so upset and distant from him. Twenty years had gone by and they'd both changed. It wasn't all going to be rainbows and sunshine when she returned to the past. 